Normally, you pay to clean out a storage unit. You go to an auction, you bid a certain amount, and then it is your job to clean out everything and see what treasures remain inside. Today is a different story. I am getting paid to clean out a storage unit. Yes, how the tables have turned. So my friend that I assist in the cleanouts with, he actually got a storage unit and it's a little large. So he said, want to make some money and help me clean it out. Well, of course, I'm never going to turn down the opportunity to film and also the opportunity to see what has been stored in a storage unit. It's not that often that I actually am able to buy a unit for myself. So it's fun to be able to help out those that buy units and then perhaps I can lend my expertise and knowledge in some areas. I've only seen two pictures of what's inside. It's a big unit. It looks like it's full. Boxes stacked six, seven, eight boxes high. So what is going to be in there? Who knows? Food, clothing, toys, comics, records, jewelry, money, vintage things, a postcard collection. That'd be, that's doubtful, but hey, you never know. So I'm just waiting for him to show up because I am always early and we'll see what we have inside. I'll give you a look at what it looks like and then we'll go through some boxes and hopefully find some fun, exciting things. Maybe even weird things, who knows? Storage units are always a mystery, they're always a gamble, but today the gamble is in my favor. Oh boy. That's what I said. And it's the other side of it too. There is, I said, there is stuff. Yeah. yeah, there's stuff. No, you can open it. Does it have a World War II? Oh, there's lamps. There's a shelf unit. I was trying to get a picture that way. I had this stupid bag. So I'm just trying to get up to the top now. I can't reach it. How do you get. Oh, here, you just got a pull. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not eight foot. Is there a, is there a stick? <laughs> Let me see. I'll get something. Here, what about one of these? Here. Yes? That might work, you're right. Try yeah. that. Might work. Oh, yeah, you can pull it down. Yeah. Inventive. Did that work? <laughs> Maybe that's what they it's had it for. That. Oh, gosh. Oh, are those tool? Hey, there's tool? A DeWalt case. Oh, my God. This is going to take. Yeah, there. Oh, my God. There's a lot. Oh, and you have some copper. Or is that brass? No, that's copper. This is a big unit. You got a picture of it. One thing. Coffee mugs. Alamo, Moravian. Chicago mug, I don't know what you're gonna do with these. These are fine. Oops. They're a little newer, but. Oh, yeah. Wrestling guys. Is this for wine? Is that plastic can? Well, there's two. Oh, there's a whole stack of um, frames back there. Whether or not it's good stuff that's in it, I don't know. And oh, if yeah. those do what? If those toolboxes are full? Yeah. Where are you? Uh huh. Let me back. This is 
not, I mean, it's kind of funky looking lamp. What about? I don't think it's bad. I mean, it takes a special, special place in your home for this guy. Oh, these are textbooks from college. Oh, nice. These are nice. They're little oil lamps. Some nice little oil lamps and a donuts box making me hungry for oh they still have oil on them these are pretty nice would i see the da vinci code book that was a good book Sorry. where's your flea market section oh what are these what are what's this there's a whole bag of them yeah. Are they full or something? No. No. Oh, there's even more brass. Cool. Looks like brass. brass. Oh, yeah? Wow. I don't know. Of the, the green, right? What's it going to be? I think they're warm. I think they're warm. Let me get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to back the truck over. Okay. Let's see a little box in here. Cummins. Wood drill bit. Oh, nice. That's nice. That's oh, they're in there. They'd be bit worthy. I'm sticking things in. Oh, there's like that. What? Is it for a car? It looks like. A lot of rust on it. So it was near metal at some huh. point in his life because a lot of rust on it. See it? Yeah. But this part looks like it's. That looks like it's. I don't know. Yeah, these toolboxes are filled. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a whole bunch of it back here. I'll let you keep working. No, that's fine. Here you go. No, it doesn't look heavy. I'm guessing oh. DVDs. Or wine bottles. Oh, CDs. Oh, that's cool. Okay, come on. Oh, are there any that I need? Yeah, there you go. Johnny Mathis, Aretha Franklin. That's odd for this gang. Billy Ray Cyrus. That's odd for this gang, though. You need, uh, you need trains though. DVD. Billy Gillum. Mariah oh, Carey. I don't think anybody would want it. What do you think? I don't know. Michael Bolton. Who's the shape? Rudy and a blowfish. Rudy and a blowfish? You sure can see me. Books. Oh, records! <laughs> oh, boy. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, and DVD. Only a few records. John Denver. They all have. I also went to the flea market or Whalen Jennings. And then more DVDs. Who's this? Ray Stevens. Huh. Well, you're going to be the DVD man. Darn it. Oh, Matilda. That's a good movie. What? Oh, that's like a little. Huh. It's like a little dresser. We have more books. Christmas Charlie Brown. Oh, there's kids. It's kids books. It's recycling. It's heavy. Oh, yeah. I told you it's heavy. Are these books? More books. They all have like, there's some older books in here. I wonder if they sold at the flea market. There's a stuffed animal. $25 book. We got a stuffed animal that's old. Remind a copy of books? Okay, here you go. This one, a History of Europe, $25. No, I was going to say, like they must have went to yard sales or they took garbage because this says a dollar each. 
Too bad these weren't vintage stuffed animals. That'd be awesome. Is that Jack from the Neverland? A creepy Anna Lee clown. Yeah, these are all... This one's older. Russ. Uh, 1559. We have Batman. They definitely were either like a flea market. Oh my gosh, these are from like Home Interior. Flea market person? What's this guy? Moshi Monster? Flea market person or a... I like to go to yard sales. What's this guy? Another Russ guy. He's fun. It's an odd mixture of stuff. So we're still making headway. I know I don't show you the whole entire process, um, but just to give you an idea. So this whole back wall is lined. We have some frames again. That one frame looks kind of old. I'm interested to see what's in there. I'm guessing maybe the glass isn't in it, but then there are all these boxes. That side says collectible, but it looks like a lot of paper and books to me. But there are totes back there, up on top. <sighs> There's a neat little green table there. This box has frames, so we are going to have to take some trips to the dump, um, just to dump off the garbage. But just to give an idea of how full this is. Not the best setup. Ah, it's not too bad, actually. Um, I'm going to take a peek at this artwork and we'll see what is here. Hopefully, it's not just empty frames. <laughs> That's empty. You have your teddy bears. It's like 1990s. If it's like 1990s stuff, we're in trouble. A seal. Seal of approval. Hmm. Flowers in the wild. I, don't know. I mean, this looks like a Made in Mexico. I was say it looks like a hobby. Lobby or Michael's frame to me. Oh, that would not have been good. So it's a clown. A broken clown. That, uh, that would not have been good if that would have wet in my eye. This is the one that said Indian on the side. You have your, your unicorn on wood clock. This screams to me carnivals in the 1980s, 1990s. I'm going to be really scared if all these are like boxes of textbooks. short problem. So this says Suyu Lee Sonoma. Oh, we have, that is like the Thomas Kincaid, not Thomas Kincaid, whatever. You know what I mean. Disappointment. That's this big guy. Very, um, Interpretive, interpretive art. Dangerous. We have a pin board. This is a photo someone took of a Columbia Gorge. We're getting close to the, well, not really. Everyone likes to see what's in the units. Well, more of these. This is like what's at doctor's offices. This might be older. Or I was wrong. It's a, a barn with a pool. I live there. I don't 
don't, I have no idea. <laughs> Well, this isn't as exciting as I thought it'd be, but that's what happens when you get these units. Oh, it's a mirror. A nice heavy one. Oh, jeez. That sucker's heavy. Storage auction mirror. bar and more frames now that box says collectible so maybe we'll look through that let me get these frames situated the first box that says collectibles i think this is the first in my storage unit history that i've come across a box filled with this stuff okay are we ready and it's a i can't even lift it it's so stinking heavy sorry ready to see what this is filled with uh, i'll give you a, a couple seconds to guess and it's you're you're probably gonna guess wrong one two three pens paper mate office products scripto ball stick pens pencils like i this is unbelievable Oh my gosh, that's why it's so heavy. This is all staples. But never have I ever. Oh, ooh, index, yes! Oh my gosh, I'll take 10 packs of 100. I'll never need to buy another index card again in my life. This is great. <laughs> that's what it is. Index, pen, index, pencils, pens. Now, if these work, That'd be awesome. If they don't, well, what the, what are you gonna do? I mean, pencils, obviously they'll work. Staples. Oh, are those notepads? Sensematic. That's kind of fun. Man, too bad these weren't vintage. I'm gonna keep saying it again. Are these notepads? It's probably the first time you've ever seen someone get, oh, cool. Seeing so, you know, I get excited about these things. Business forms, important message telephone came to see you wants to see you return your call do they even use these anymore they don't mobile i mean fax can you ever have enough pens in life well now this piques my interest as to what else is in these boxes the one box has collector plates cookbooks another box is staples so this this is a first folks it's definitely a first well, we have, we have books, books, books. You see that little piece of paper down there? It says free. So I really think that whomever owned this unit was a reseller slash perhaps even a garbage picker. And they just put all their stuff in here. So this box, We've gotten through some of the book boxes. I took a little peek in here and I saw something interesting. So I thought, well, I may as well show you guys too. Uh oh, I saw these and I got excited. They're the plates. These are what I got excited about. Um, 1995. Oh. Why can't it be a whole box of them? So we have plates. Farm. Italy. My excitement may have been too much. There's only three matchbox in here. <laughs> the rest are collector plates. Ames, 99 cents. Oh man, what are you gonna do? Grist mill. Uh, are they all the same? Oh well. Keep digging, I guess. By yourself? Yeah, I did. Strong, strong like bull. You're strong like bull. Uh, okay, we can see the sign, and it looks like it's. Oh, I'm excited to see what's in these totes. We got past the books. It's a stro uh, Schaefer. Schaefer beer sign. That's pretty nice. 
So, and it's lightweight, so I should be able to. Ooh, more clothes. <gasps> What's that? It looks like an older hat. Oh, cool, Coors Light hat. All right, let's get the sign out first. I'm getting distracted here. That looks like it might have jewelry in it. I think this might be a good corner. Get it, wait, I'm coming over. No, it's out now. Too many layers on now. Down in there, I guess. That is nice. That's pretty nice. In good shape. A little rusting, but at least the panels are still there. That's a cool piece. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. It's been interesting to see what has been stored in this unit. My thoughts, reseller, garbage picker, flea market, yard sale goer, just didn't want the stuff, left it behind. Their life is better off not moving the stuff and having the stuff. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think um, about this unit and if there are some good flea market items in here. I mean, there's still a lot to go through. I might be coming back uh, to help. I might not, it depends on my schedule. I have some appointments coming up. But uh, yeah, just another insight into the world of storage units and what people pay to store. This was a fun one. Never thought I'd find a whole box of pens, but I did. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click on that thumbs up button and I will see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose.